Is that helps? Is that good? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you all. Uh, we are live. <laughs> we are live. We are live with Komo Elishewore, our AAC president. I want of us to all say welcome and listen. Thank you, thank you very much for, for all the work you've done thank for you. us as, uh, for Nigeria, and we support you. Um, and I'm urging every Nigerian, please continue to um, just join us. Yes, this is not a it's not a test. This is for real. This is Mr. President Omo Elise. We're right next to me here. Yeah. Uh, we're having a, you know, we're going to have a discussion. Yes, um, if you do have any questions that you'd like to ask, please put them forward. Uh, we just want to just have a general discussion about the whole journey, right from the time he said he was going to run for uh, president, and everybody was saying, no, 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 to where we are now, where we are third, the third party in the whole entire Nigerian nation. So we'll have that discussion. Leave comments. Uh, Shewun, good afternoon, Shewun. So, um, you know, from time to time, we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll drop in and out and, and, and talk about many things. Yeah. Um, first of all, yes. could you tell us how that per passion, where, there, where does that passion come from? That passion where you, you just will not let go of your belief in your nation. Where does that passion come from? Well, you know, it, it came from growing up in Nigeria, uh, growing up poor is just in my head, and I've said it so many times. You know, living in a small village but having big dreams. You know, I was living in a village but I could see the end of the world, mm -hmm. and I wanted the world to come to my village. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everything I did was about that. And each time I I saw oppression, I saw repression, and I saw terrible leadership in our country. Yeah. Uh, it made me feel bad, you know. And then, you know, when I went to the university, I had an opportunity to actually fight for what I believe, which is fighting against military rule. Yes. And then when you travel abroad and you see smaller nations with less resources doing so well, then, you know, that passion is fired in you. Because you know that your country could be this fantastic country yeah. where some people just sat on top of the destiny of the nation, yeah. weighed down mm -hmm. with their own toxic uh, personality and leadership styles, mm -hmm. and said to itself, we have to fight this to finish. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's, that's where it's coming from. It's coming from a lot of places. Sometimes it's coming from expectations, sometimes it's coming from anger, disappointment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just coming out of pure love. Oh, for my country, and uh, like I have said, yeah. uh, it's not big that I don't hold it against anybody no. if, you're, if you're not holding your Nigerian citizenship. Yeah. But the passion was so great that mm -hmm. I wouldn't let go of my Nigerian citizenship. I respect that. I walk that. around with a great passion. I respect that. The one I have doesn't even have ink anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of these poor quality passports for this by our leaders. But I hold it, and I hold it with uh, love and passion. I hold, I hold it with respect. Uh, this is, you know, I will not give up until uh, we make Nigeria work. Absolutely. We are with you on the journey. Many people are saying, we're right on, Mr. President, we are with you, AAC 2023. It's amazing There's to see just, you, guys. you know, yeah. people are just, we are so committed. Many yeah. people are committed. I'm, I'm, I'm then I don't let people know that we're in London tonight. That's and, it. I'm, uh, yes, uh, with yes. The Nigeria restaurant where we're meeting and greeting our people. Yes. So come down. Yeah. Do come down. Now, tonight we're going to be at Finchley. Um, I, I think I'll put the address on afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, whilst we're talking, I, I'll just get the address out mm -hmm. so you can have it right there. Um, in London, you should come out. Yeah, come out. Let's so see. the address is Finchley Road, it's London, Enish Nigerian, yeah, Nigerian Restaurant. Um, 299 Finchley Road, NW36DT, time 6 p.m. Yeah. Join us down there. Um, Mr. President will be there live, be there. and you're very welcome to come. And uh, this is like a, he's coming to say thank you for all your support. Yeah. Uh, many of us in London, this is our opportunity to meet him. Yeah. Um, he's just, you know, he's had a hectic, hectic. Um, how many states did you visit again? Uh, we visited 34 states. 34 and, states. And did over seven nations. Over wow. seven nations. Uh, wow. And wow. uh, almost 250 events wow. in one year, between That's... February 2018 and February 2019. Do you think the combined Buhari or Atiku could manage, the two of them they could can, combine it? They can't can do, they manage the two of them combined together cannot do the events within the months. Like, they can't, you know. I mean, we we visited everywhere yeah. possible in Nigeria. Please share, share, share. And, yeah. and they admitted that too. They admitted mm -hmm. that uh, we did differently, you know. Uh, 
So, and I have to thank all our citizens out there. Yeah. Our supporters, they did fantastic. Forget about the election results. There was no election. Yes. You know, it was yeah. uh, it was an uh, it was an act of aggression against Nigerian. It was. Yeah. It was. It uh, was indeed. So it was whatever indeed. you saw as the number they gave us, mm-hmm. the they could allocate to us. Yeah. Because there are places where there are more votes on the field than mm-hmm. by the time they did coalition, mm-hmm. they had cut out votes by half. Mm-hmm. Those two million votes that you're seeing out there, they probably belong to us. So exactly. Exactly. Million exactly. Million votes, so. There was some guy called PCP that they said he got something. No, no, no. He no, the, Look, I, I I met him and I don't want to diminish anybody. Yeah. But he didn't even. He, he had al- no. He had already even endorsed Atiku. Ah. There's a video of him endorsing Atiku and saying on that video that at this point I've given up on my presidential campaign, so don't vote for me anymore. He renounced his presidential campaign already before wow. the election. So, so all that was all again. It was again. It was again. It was, uh, and then the reason he got the votes came because they were close to the next to PDP. Yeah. So anybody, and their logo looked almost the same. Ah, <laughs> so all of this was all strategic yeah, planned. Right. It was all yeah. planned. But I don't, I don't think anybody was fooled by it. You know, when he, I think he issued a statement thanking people. People mm-hmm. were like, "This, wow, you know, how can you be a, a pastor? Yeah, and be part of fraud? No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah. So no, no, I, I'm, I'm, you know, that's that's the other thing we want to talk about is the when you actually went through this process. Yes, and and those. Well, we're going to go into it now, actually. Philadelphia, to yeah. Kings de Morgan, yes. um, Dr. Kubese, yeah. um, um, a, a unit at Trinity Day. Yes. Now, with the, with now, all of them now realizing that you are now third. It no, is but, now third. But that's, that's what we told them. You know, when they were doing this whole thing about well, who is more grounded, mm-hmm. we said that with due respect, you can already tell that AAC is a party that is well known across the country and my candidacy was not in doubt. Mm-hmm. They admitted it. They didn't campaign, you know, they didn't go to the kind of places we went to. No. They didn't even bother to do so many things that no. we did, you know. But they were more interested in debating and things like that. And they thought that if we had not participated in the debate nobody would remember us again. But mm-hmm. that actually was the beginning of our popularity wow. when we were cut out of the national debate. Those who debated did not even get the kind of numbers we got. I mean, no, they didn't. Allocation. No. So that, that's that's. It, I think it made a point about who could have enjoyed their coalition. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah. And now you can see that we're the we the real coalition of the oppressed. Absolutely. Coalition of the ready and willing. Yes. You know. Uh, so that's the kind of coalition that. Mm-hmm. We needed, and that's the kind of coalition that we had, and mm-hmm. that's the quite kind of coalition that happened. Mm-hmm. So there was no argument, but I think at this point, yes. it has been cemented that Drew to Mogalu, Ikubese, Atujide, Atujide, I don't think Atujide was ever interested in mm-hmm. Atujide was doing business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was, yeah, she, she was, just came to just yeah, do business, yeah, get her name known, and get. I don't even I think they came to make money. No. And probably, hopefully, they made enough. Mm-hmm. But all oh, these other guys could have just joined us, you mm-hmm. know. But they didn't want to join us because, you know, there was ego. And there was the other factors that mm-hmm. we'll find out over time. I saw yeah. uh, a statement issued by Morgan today. Mm-hmm. That was the most confusing statement. Uh, you know, he said, oh, his mandate was stolen. He condemned the election. But then in another breath, mm-hmm. he's saying that the Buhari should go and set up a high-class government and that he wants to play a role in it. Pretty much so selling himself selling, to yeah. the fraudulent government, yeah. you know, a president that won the election by, crook, uh, by hook and crook. Yeah. So we don't do that. No. We are very clear and that is why we didn't win the election mm-hmm. officially. Mm-hmm. But we are the most congratulated party. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Everybody is like, yes, you guys are the best. We want to work with you. We got more people joining us after the election yeah. than did we. And I wish they did before the election. I think that bias remorse yeah. was very quick to uh, yeah. uh, to happen to people who either didn't vote. And mm-hmm. let me say this. Mm-hmm. The people who did the worst injustice to, to us mm-hmm. are the people who didn't go out to vote. Yes. One yes. Of over 50 million people did not vote. Yeah. yeah. Maybe some 40 million people did not vote. Just on that, 
the, what the government did, because the, I, I don't trust the INF man, he's, yeah. he's a mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. Um, Mo, Momo, is it Mo, Ma, Mahmoud? Mahmoud, Mahmoud, Mahmoud yeah. Group, yeah. Now, what he did, what they did, yeah. when they suddenly postponed that election at the last minute, yeah. I believe that the figures that would have got turnout would have been far higher, Absolutely. perhaps 30% higher. Because nobody was even sure uh, that the date of the postponement of the election would happen. Mm-hmm. A lot of people didn't go out, a lot of people didn't go back. Don't also forget the number of people that came from, you know, outside the country to exactly. vote for us, who exactly. had to go back in annoyance. Exactly. Uh, because, you know, they couldn't wait for another week. Exactly. So it was all planned. It so rob was a kind of, you know, voter uh, participation, or, you know, that would happen, and those people came from outside the country. A lot of people came from outside the country and had to leave. Unfortunately, and those were our votes. Wow. Yeah. The, the, the other thing is the, 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 the violence that yeah. both P, APC and PDP, we saw, we saw so many, the pilots were being burnt. Yeah. I've got videos where you could see people pilots are being burnt, people were being chased away from coming to the voting area. You know, people were being sent to different voting areas so that they couldn't be able to read yeah. the card yeah. no, them up. They, 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 it's part of what we must own immediately. Yeah. And this is for our people. Mm-hmm. Is, we must own two things. We must fight whatever it takes. Yeah. Even if it means we shut down all the uh, embassies abroad mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. they allow people in the diaspora to okay. vote. We you had that thought here. I'm That's telling it. you, I will, lead, I will lead any kind of insurrection. Fantastic. That will yes. lead to the right of people in the diaspora to vote. Yes. vote. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Diaspora and get to it. 20 it. people mm-hmm. that are willing to vote for the diaspora, yes. they must be allowed to vote. Exactly. That's number one. Secondly, mm-hmm. we must have electronic voting. Absolutely. Right it has to happen. In election cycle. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. Indeed. The system of card reader has failed. They figured out card reader how to bypass it. Mm-hmm. I'm not even sure that they're up to 30% of card readership uh, in this election. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was a scam. Yeah. They, were just, they were just hijacking you know, ballot papers, mm-hmm. printing mm-hmm. and stuffing them and counting them. And that was what they did. And you can imagine in places like Yobe, mm-hmm. in uh, Bobo, yeah. bombs were raining in the morning. Yes. And by afternoon, you are getting the highest number of voters. Crazy. Whereas places like Lagos, that yes. likely people, mm-hmm. uh, there are not that many voters. No. Over no. 4.5 million people did not vote in Lagos. They didn't come out. But what the worst thing they did, due mm-hmm. to psychological, was a shoot at size yes. that uh, President Buhari ordered. And there were soldiers physically everywhere in my village, as you guys probably saw. Yes. They shot at the drone that uh, we took there. I was going to ask that, yes. We had confrontation with soldiers. So you can imagine a village of mine that with four polling units had over eight soldiers, so I think over 12 soldiers. So there's soldiers everywhere and they were harassing and you know, ready to kill. Yeah. And I'm sure in some places they killed people. They did, they did. So I mean, over you, 50 people have, have been killed. Yeah, told, and that's the one we know. That there were 200. Two, you yeah, say yeah. 200. And if you're hearing 200 from Nigeria, probably this 500 job. people died. Exactly. So it was a bloody election. Very I, I, I wish for my people. I wish for painful. Now, what we um, the things that people are now asking is, what are the next steps? How we've got now? They know that the people in power now they cannot ignore. Yeah. What steps are you going to look at now as a party going forward? First of all, before you answer that, I want to say. It's, you've done an incredible job from September to February, barely five, barely six months to have mo- got the party together, to have come third in the elections. That's a lot of pluses. Yeah, I, I think uh, BBC wrote uh, a story uh, and they were assigning lots and men to people. Yeah. And they put us in the corner of <laughs> okay. Yes. And the position was that these guys started a team of dark godfathers, started a political party, I'm sorry, political party in less than five months yeah. or six months, mm-hmm. and became one of the most prominent political voices in Nigeria. Yeah. Yes. They, awesome. Awesome. Know, and that awesome. was that was that made them to say that we're one of the winners in the election. Indeed. Regardless Indeed. of Together. the figures and okay, that did. And that is the summary of what happened. Whatever it is that happened, we did the best in terms of coverage, in terms of boldness, mm-hmm. in terms of programs, in terms of manifesto, yes. in terms of disruption. 
you know, in and in terms of visibility, mm -hmm. uh, in saying, look, you know, we are who we are. We're not ashamed. We're not afraid. Mm -hmm. And we covered Nigeria from the south to the north, from the east to the west. We traveled everywhere. We traveled by air. We traveled by road. We traveled by water. Yes. In Nigeria, yes. and we walked. We took bikes. Whatever it took, we did. We went to schools. We went to hospitals. We went to churches and mm -hmm. mosques. Palaces, yes, you know, and we went to meet workers where they were, yes, and we did everything, you know, we did everything possible, yes, you know, we rescued accident victims, indeed, we rescued people from soldiers, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and you we know, saw the so many we, of us we, we, we were doing everything that was needed to just give people the chance and hope, yeah, of a better nation, and I'm sure that uh, you guys feel the same way I feel, yes. And there's nothing to feel bad about that. I'm really happy about it. I must say that about our supporters. Yes. Uh, nobody felt bad. Nobody no. was trained in the sense of it yeah, now. Yeah. Nobody, you know, everybody was like, they felt even more pumped up after the election than, than before the election. Before the election. Yeah. Everybody just kept calling me and saying, look, you know, I hope you're not, you know, I hope you're not beating yourself down. Yeah. We did fantastic. We yeah. did very well. Mm -hmm. We would do this again. And yes. everybody kept saying, look, let's like, start preparing now, yeah. you know. And that's why we're in London today. We, one of the things we want to do, if you're watching and hearing us, yeah. we will tell the world again, we will tell the whole of Nigeria. To Indeed. Start building, yes. you know, Nigeria block by block, building our, building our political party, building the identity of our people so that we can be different. We can stand out and different. Indeed. Uh, be different from, you know, the motley crowd out there. Indeed. And Indeed. giving Nigerians a real voice and a real chance at rescuing their country. We couldn't do it this time. But I can tell you, you might think it's four years away, it's going to be here very soon, and we might be able to do it before then. Definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. Guys, I want you all to type hashtag AAC2023. Yeah. Can you type it? <laughs> hashtag AAC2023. Yeah. No going back. No going right? back. Make it go viral. Yeah. Make that go viral. Hashtag AAC2023. Make it go viral. We are go we're not going to stop. Now, one of the other things that we need to look at now yeah. is how... We know that the government are using money yes. to suppress and oppress and to deny our people the infrastructure that we need. Mm -hmm. As individuals now who are in diaspora, yes. we, uh, there's a report that came out that we are, we are spending about 25, we sent about we 25 spent billion dollars. No, last year, yeah. we sent 25 billion dollars to Nigeria. That's it. Uh, that's almost equivalent, you know, it's almost equal to the Nigerian budget. Indeed. And our budget. Exactly. So, and nobody is uh, thanking us for that. They're not. Nobody is giving us a chance. They don't even look at where. Uh, but don't feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. Don't feel, don't feel discouraged. Mm -hmm. We should, what we should do uh, is to channel some of that money to political development. Yes. You know, at home. Indeed. Let it be known that we have a party that we are supporting. That's it. You know? That's it. And out of that two billion, mm -hmm. if we can get five million dollars out there, ten million dollars to support a strong party, That's it. Yeah. we will dislodge these this people. Group. We we'll dislodge the groups. Mm -hmm. We can use that. You know what helped us mm -hmm. in this election was the fact that they knew that our source of revenue or yeah. support yeah. is kosher and yes. cannot be interfered Shaking. with. And they know that we are not. We don't need Godfathers. Exactly. You know, and I, I, I said it to you guys mm -hmm. up to the last minute. We yeah. had enough because we were. We didn't need too much. Yeah. We didn't need too much. No, we didn't. We had enough to run our campaign to the last minute because Indeed. we're not trying to live big. Yeah. We're not trying. But we did everything, mm -hmm. and that was why it was possible for us to win our polling yeah. unit. Yeah. I was my number one polling unit representative. I was there. Mm -hmm. Stayed there. Mm -hmm. counted the mm -hmm. votes mm -hmm. and left and then went to other police units to make sure that nobody was messing up. Mm -hmm. Got drawn to the village yes. and monitored the election. And by the way, they seized my drone. They yes. haven't given it back to me. But, well, you know what? The election that the drone captured them reading, they, yes. had, they were supposed to cancel it. Because they oh. knew we had evidence. Yes. Guys, did you hear that? See, the drone captured the rigging. Because of that, they had to cancel That's the it. election. We, even though they were shooting at the drone, they knew that the drone had the footage showing how they were rigging. 
And this is what we're saying, that we are the technology party. And we will use technology to solve a lot of problems in Nigeria. Yeah. Just one drone That's covered it. four polling units. And they got scared. And they got scared. They were shooting at it. But eventually, they couldn't do anything about the drone because the drone already collected footage. And, and it's, because and of the fear of that started. footage, they were forced to cancel the election of that particular polling unit. Now, that was the polling unit of the deputy governor of Ondo State. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, my goodness. I'm telling you. So, these guys know they're in trouble. And that's why we need you guys. We yes. need you. You know, people are going to say all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. They're going to try to discourage you. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's no. nothing to be discouraged about. This is the first time there's a direct diaspora intervention in Nigeria. That's it. Very credible one. Indeed. And we show them how to do things differently. Exactly. So there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's no. nothing to be uh, worried about. Yeah. Me. And it's not about me alone. The rest of you who don't, who didn't feel confident this yeah. time around yeah. before now, come out. Yes. Nothing will happen. The more exactly. we come out, the, the better. You know? Indeed. Look Indeed. at the only women that came out as governorship candidates. Mm-hmm. They're from the diaspora. They were AC it, candidates. Uh, candidates. Uh, yeah. And Mimo. And your last and Chidi. Yeah. Yes. Chidi, you know? and your Please check this from Texas. And your yeah. from the UK. Yes. yes. Indeed. Come out. You know, the moment you come out, you liberate other women Indeed. who are afraid. Yes. Or feeling ashamed or who are suppressed. Indeed. The moment we come out and say things that people cannot say, more people will be saying it. Mm-hmm. You know, the moment we come out, they was, the only party they were afraid of throughout this election cycle was AC. AC. They knew. You know, they couldn't even, control that. Even when they denied us of the debate, mm-hmm. for the first time, somebody challenged them on how to be included in the debate. We went to court. Yes. Even though the judges didn't give us the judgment we needed, they mm-hmm. forced them to do things differently. Mm, it did. You know, and it denied that particular debate group the legitimacy that they wanted so badly. Next time, yeah. there's not going to be any Nigeria election debate group anymore. Exactly. Because they've lost credibility. They've lost credibility. Yes. Totally, yes. totally, totally. So totally. we would organize our own debates ourselves. And we did a lot of things. We did yes. a lot of things that have never been done before. A lot of first, yeah. We talked about things that were considered to be taboos. Yes. We discussed issues that people thought were impossible to discuss. Indeed. So we kept breaking it down. Yes. But towards the end, we start, even celebrities started gravitating towards us. They did. They did. A lot did. of them came they to did. us. And we didn't pay any one of them. They came on their own volition. Yeah. So, guys, it was an amazing experience. You know? Fantastic. Uh, this Fantastic. is an experience that I hope we can make some yeah. small content about. Oh, oh, Hopefully indeed. a documentary, yes. book, all of yes. it in the works, so that you guys can understand the depth of the disruption indeed. that we carried out in last one year. Now, one of the things that we have digitally, we've, we've got that own. Yes. They can't touch us. They can. But what we, and somebody can came up with an idea mm-hmm. um, in the north. They use a lot of radio transistors to be able to get to inter- interland, places where people don't have internet and all these things. And they spread information that way. Yeah. Is there a way we can have like maybe like a, a stage, a, set up like a radio station that people can tune into, even in our local, local areas, so they can hear our messages from now? Yeah. So that um, we can make sure that those messages... A lot, are- of, a lot of ideas came up. Why we're doing this? That's mm-hmm. why four years is a lot of time to do a lot of things. Technology yes. will be deployed. You know, yeah. you, you have drones that can even carry radio transmitters. Yes. Okay. You know, that we could have deployed if we yes. had enough support, mm-hmm. enough money. There are people who are watching you and I who know how to make these things happen. Yes. Uh, you know, those are things we'll deploy next time. Yes. You know, absolutely. Set up our own, you know, radio stations. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether they give us license or not, mm-hmm. figure out how to get content to people who want Indeed. it. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. So is, we would do amazing things, and we don't have to reveal too many things. No, no, no. no. I, 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 yeah, yeah, of course. Now, the other thing I wanted to let you know, um, I, I've been on a number of um, inter- the panelists discussing the elections, yeah. and I mentioned, of course, they know I support AAC, and I, you know, I was putting my case forward for AAC. Yeah. I was trying not to fight in their usual dog fighting way, mm-hmm. APC, PDP. I just said, look, those guys are the corrupt ones. Mm-hmm. We are here to give you real alternative. Yeah. Now, one of the things that they came, those who are the APC and PDP, they mm-hmm. were saying to me, we know that Omoya Nishibore's manifesto is the best. Yeah. It beats everybody hands down. They, they don't, they don't I'd, deny it. I'd like you to just sort of find find a way to capture that for Nigerians to make you know just to make them because what I want I want us to continue to remain you know wedded to this manifesto. I hope you're not changing that manifesto. No, we're not. We're not changing it, but we can expand it right. based on what we've seen. Yes. Uh, 
what we did in the next one year, last, sorry, last one year, was like some kind of a need assessment tour as well of Nigeria. Yes. yes. And talk to Nigerians everywhere, mm-hmm. found out what they need, what they want. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have now figured it out. Fantastic. And that would find its way into the manifesto. The areas that we could improve on, mm-hmm. that we will. Uh, so we 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 work the manifesto without you know distorting the original uh, content or Co- uh, ideas and the concept. The, yeah, of the manifesto. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, let me see. Promise Newton, yes, I know, but that money won't last for four years. I'm just trying to see if I can read some questions. Yeah, some, um, yeah, yeah. some people want to come on board and, and come on live. Is that possible? Would you like to? No, 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 let's, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll pick one or two people to come on live yeah, yeah. just to see, you know, let's see. Let me approve who else. Uh, let me approve Davidson here. Let me see. Oops. Join us um, just to bring, you know, um, hopefully it will work. Um, uh, um, it's taking a while. It's hope yeah. it doesn't hang. But it might work. It might not work. But if it doesn't, we've tried. Um, so um, just to see that is coming on board. Okay. Yeah. My yeah. president. Ah, how are you, Davidson? <laughs> yes, I'm Davidson. Yes. Yeah. Olu, Amayo, I'm Davidson. Yeah. I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> he's just got married. As oh, well. wow. So he's got a nice beautiful lady. So I yes, now. Nah. You, you you were you were quite busy during my uh, during the wedding and uh, you wanted to come but uh, okay. no, sorry, I think sorry. then you were in Australia and you came back to Nigeria and all that so the election stuff so yeah anyways um th- uh, thank you for the uh, for the struggle thank you for for all your effort I really appreciate you so much so much uh, for being a front runner for us thank for you. all of us. You know, for being that um, voice Nigerians need. You know, we thank you and we'll continue to do this. And we have to continue. You, you, you obviously know I've always been advocating for database of how to bring database to Nigeria. And, uh, and we can all see, we can all see, you know, uh, uh, the need for all these, yeah. for all these things. Yeah. You know, we can see the need for, for, for database which is one of our problems. Mm-hmm. You know, because if now we are advocating for for uh, electronic voting, don't forget that you know all these things still have to transmit into data. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah, eventually, you know, um, and and these guys, of course, they don't want they don't want such such thing to happen because it's going to affect everything. You know, um, they do. They, 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 these guys, they don't. They, they are actually not not re, uh, result driven. They just want to, you know, um, take power by force. Mm-hmm. So, and one of those things I would like to quickly ask is this. Um, what, what are we doing? What are we going to do about, about our journalists who, who have decided voluntarily to silence the voice of the people? Because um, I could, if, if I could remember vividly, we actually traced, you know, um, so many of the activities of the journalists to them not even um, bothering to, to, to air most of the, most of, um, the campaign activities other than uh, the APC and the PDP. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and it's quite unfortunate, but what are we going to do about it? Because we have to do something. Um, uh, about, I, know, I know we are devising alternative means. Mm-hmm. So, um, of course, we are using the social media, but yes. many, of, many of our people, um, for truth be said, Many of our people are not on social media. They can't even afford it anyways. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so how do we uh, dig deeper into this issue of, uh, you know, um, of building an alternative journalism that can reach out to the grassroots? That being said, then knowing fully well, um, uh, on my second question, knowing fully well that that election was actually completely rigged in Nigeria. So everybody could see it. Mm-hmm. Even, yes, even I mean, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, even the blind know that mm-hmm. this thing was rigged. So, but what, what so if, we, if we just um, humbly fold our arms and walk away from, uh, from this election just like that, I think, I think um, you know, um, it, it, may be, it may be a big blow on, on, on our people, especially those who are actually waiting for us to, uh, to, to question the entire antecedent, knowing fully well that we have all the proofs at hand, you know, um, no matter what the uh, what our positions, uh, what, what our position is, 
uh, mm -hmm. in the election. I, I feel like we still have to query, you know, um, this outcome to some mm -hmm. extent legally. So mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing about that? So uh, uh, with our proofs. So that's so, about and, 10 questions you got now. There's more people to come. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know if I let you go, if I let you go ask those. You talked about data. You talked about journalism and how the fit is. And now you talked about the, what's the last thing again? Challenging the election. Challenging the election results. results. So can we, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I, I agree with you with regards to journalism. Uh, uh, I challenge them throughout the campaign. Uh, journalism in Nigeria during this campaign was a disgrace. Mm -hmm. Uh, they kept pushing the narrative that there are only two parties running the election. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, I know alternatives pretty much, you know, discrediting the alternative. Oh, but, but we did a good job by passing that. Oh, uh, fantastic. Even awesome. The, even the candidates that uh, were yeah. working on, yes, mm -hmm. uh, working on, um, we were working with them. They didn't get the number of uh, coverage we did because we were very clinical in yes. the way we transmitted uh, information to people and we, we had a reach that we need to be part one of them uh, was asking me after the election that they were waiting for me to fail so spectacularly so that they can teach me a journalism lesson and i need to come to them but now they can't say that because the people that used to come to them didn't even get the kind of traction that i had indeed and that's indeed. that's very important uh, it's to use this opportunity to build our own journalism outlets indeed there's indeed. nothing uh, spectacular about it no. I must also say that uh, we need to also start to promote people that helped us a lot uh, during this time so that they can understand the impact they had and to start promoting more influencers. Exactly. One of the things we discovered was that a lot of our people were not on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, they're only on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. But it wasn't only on Facebook that things were happening. We had Twitter, we Instagram. Had Instagram. You have to be in all. Uh, but we will address that again. Uh, it's important that we let people know. Oh, that it's gone off. It's fine. Gone, yeah. Okay, but you can carry yeah. on. So, so, with regards to uh, challenging the election, yeah. uh, the best way we can do it is the way we are doing it now. Yeah. Is to start mobilizing. You have to be careful mm -hmm. not to go and join PDP. Yeah. You know, because Indeed. they will go behind your back and do deals. Yeah. And abandon you like, on, you know, in the lodge. Exactly. We don't want that to, no. to happen. No. 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 Uh, we want to build our party mm -hmm. so strong that, you know, any subsequent election, not 2023, mm -hmm. we have solid ability to conduct and ensure that free and fair elections are conducted. Exactly. So that's that's the solution. You can challenge them now, you go to court, mm -hmm. uh, you spend more money on lawyers, mm -hmm. they own the judges. You yeah. know what Buhari did before yes. they started the election? They removed yeah. the Supreme Court judge. They did, yeah. They thought would be... Oh, no, they, uh, they, yeah, they, they thought would not be in there. That wasn't in their good books. Mm -hmm. That was in preparation for any future challenge of the, against the election mm -hmm. uh, as it's happened. They have planned all this. Yes, indeed. So, indeed. like I said, DAWAPS is a, a revolutionary movement and mm -hmm. it must continue to do revolutionary things. Indeed, and indeed. Like somebody really uh, asked, uh, yeah. we already are setting up our own Take It Back TV. Yes. We will set up a Take It Back radio station. That's it. Take It Back, uh, whatever. You yeah. Know, whatever it yeah. will take to set up our own media platforms mm -hmm. that will be dealing directly with our issues and directly mm -hmm. with our people. We come our own voice. We do it. Fantastic. And we do it virtually. Fantastic. No. Um. Anybody got any questions? Uh, okay. Are you help? Are you open to helping President fix? Are you open to helping the president fix Nigeria? That's an interesting question. Yeah, I mean, the president that was selected this time. Yes, he <laughs> not selected. He was not interested in fixing Nigeria. No, he, he had four years to prove it. They haven't been able to do jack. Yeah. And so we are ready to fix Nigeria on our own terms. And mm -hmm. that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Okay, that's good. Um, we're saying we don't have volume. What happened to Oh, it's there. The volume is on. Can you hear us? You can, can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Hello, can you hear me? The volume is loud to the fullest. Okay. Maybe Call me, please. Uh, no, maybe it's, it, might be, it, might, it might be yours. Because I think nobody's saying going against. Let me see if I can add one more person. Okay. I'll add one more person if I can. Okay, let me add a loop with me. She wants to come on board. I'll just add her. See if she can, uh, because we could hear. Yeah. We had, um, we had uh, uh, Davidson earlier yeah. on. Yeah. So that's not a problem. So, 
Oh yes, there's yes. Uh, they're all saying yes. Thank you very much for answering. Okay. I'm hoping that um, Maybe uh, they, yeah. will, will join us. Okay. Um, while, while she's joining us, uh, one of the things that we, in terms of these infrastructures that we are lacking in our local areas, mm. um, yes, we're not in power, but we can connect somehow. I'm wondering, is there a role for AAC in and and the the movement in in beginning to address those issues, bypassing both state, federal, and local governments that are not doing this. Yeah. Is there a way we can, you know, uh, get that with, with committed people? Um, I mean, one of the things we would like to do this time Absolutely. around, and I don't want to make uh, promises that no. we have done our homework enough and set mm -hmm. up structures to uh, uh, implement, is, you know, whatever we can do as a party to mm -hmm. help the country, mm -hmm. we must do it. Yes. You know, uh, so many of you are investing in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, at this time or yeah. going forward. Uh, we, we, when you want to employ people, tell yes. us. Mm -hmm. You know, we would like to get AAC people to work with you. If you want to train people yes. to do things, tell us. We'd mm -hmm. like to get our guys to be the ones that are trained so that, you know, if you're lawyers, you want to volunteer to help people get out of prison, tell mm -hmm. us. We mm -hmm. want to be able to get people out of prison, especially mm -hmm. innocent people. Okay. You know, yeah. and have all kinds of programs mm -hmm. that the party should be seen to be in the lives of our people. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a fighting party, yeah. but it should also be a helping party. Indeed. 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 So, Indeed. Um, if there's, there's a way that we can use our diaspora connections to bring electricity to uh, places, villages. Exactly. You know, we, we, for example, That's... we went to four refugee camps. Mm -hmm. We'd love to be able to get in touch with them again, you know, provide them with support, you know, provide them with, you know, uh, 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 additional uh, instructional materials, yes. provide yes. them with clothing, mm -hmm. you know, whatever we can. Mm -hmm. It's not just you visit them during <laughs> election time, after mm -hmm. election, you know, hear from them. Mm -hmm. You know, I've even said it that even if AAC needs to have a farm, yes, <laughs> we will get a farm, a farm. Some, or if we need to get a, um, a ranch. Yes. Uh, we will get yeah, you, yeah. so that we can show to you that this is how to ranch. Okay. But we're going to need all of you, and you know that we Absolutely. face a lot of uh, obstacles. Yes. The government that is not working mm -hmm. don't like when things are working. They don't, because no. it shows them up. Yes, yeah, it shows them up as you know, incompetent, invalid. But one thing I'm very clear about, or one thing I'm sure about, is that Buhari will mess up so bad. Yeah. In fact, people will be calling for elections in a year's time. Yes, they will be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. Well, he's already said we it's going to be tougher now. Yeah. So we should be ready for. In fact, we should, you know, one of the things we're working on is to have a shadow cabinet. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. If you are out there, you have not joined AAC, please uh, go join. Uh, you can join on our website, mm -hmm. AAC Party. Absolutely. Org, and donate your membership uh, mm -hmm. so that we can have enough support. Mm -hmm. You know, like I keep telling you guys, you know, the diaspora this time mm -hmm. really, really came out strong. Yes. Know? They were scared. They kept saying, if the diaspora had the chance to vote, she already won this election. Yeah. <laughs> that was what everybody was saying. You know? So that's why we must have that diaspora uh, voting. We will fight. We never, we, whichever way we can fight. If it means that everywhere we see Nigerian yeah. officials coming to town, we go and fight in the place until. Indeed. We don't let them Indeed. rest until they give us diaspora voting. That's compulsory because okay. that's some almost 10 million people there. Yeah, yeah. indeed, indeed. Yeah. Two things I wanted to talk about. One, just to back what you were saying, um, I was blocked uh, on the flimsy excuse. Mm -hmm. um, Citizen AY platform was blocked for a month and yeah. it was blocked on the 29th of January. Wow. And I was not released by Facebook until the 28th of February. Wow. That's one clear month. Now, that prior to that, the, 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 the citizen AY reached 1.5 million Nigerians. Wow. So people were, I was so, so, they, so this, what, what the president saying is it works because those of us in that, that's what, that's why I say to you all, we need to be engaged in this process. Yeah. You know, we need to continue to push the case for African Action Congress Absolutely. and other ideas that we might want to bring along with it to make sure that we insensitize our people with them up. When they saw that was happening, what did they do? They made sure they got me shut down. Yeah. But still, it doesn't they matter. They even tried it with me. They tried it several times. They reported me several times that, uh, yeah. you know, I was live streaming. Yeah. And, you know, uh, they reported me because I was live streaming from airports. <laughs> and, you know, I was compromising security, the aircraft, all kinds yeah. of nonsense. Yeah. Uh, but I kept fighting, you know. Uh, but we yeah. must also 
have a way to reach out to Facebook to understand that this cannot just be flimsy when it comes to very important life saving exactly. brokers. Like exactly. This. You exactly. know, they have to understand that when we are broadcasting about the political future of Nigeria, mm. we are trying to save the lives of we 300 are. million people. Indeed, yeah. indeed, literally. So, literally. And that was, you know, we also tried to intervene. Yes, and I, and I was going to say thank you so much for your help. Um, thanks to Rachel and yourself, because you got behind the scenes, they were working to try and, you know, get unblock me released, me, yeah. unblock me, you know. And, we and, and, you and, and, and thank you so much. And I thanks for this message of support you put on my page, yeah. even though I wasn't there. Yeah. So, I, you know, this is all of. I want all of us to look at this as we are helping our nation. That's One right. more thing I'd like to add to, if you may say, the issue of making Nigerians aware of their rights and the constitution. Now, I know that constitution is not perfect. Yeah. One of the things that I do, aside from following, doing AAC, is I, I have a, 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 a group. It's called the Citizen AY Constitutional Awareness Action Group. In that group, I read the Nigerian constitution at least twice a week. Mm. So I'm getting people, and people are joining. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, what's your take on encouraging Nigerians to know their constitution? Even the, the one the, yeah, no, absolutely. It's, uh, it's part of the kind of education we need. One of the things we must push for very hard in this, after, you know, in the next four years, mm -hmm. is, or oh, even going forward, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. to create a kind of consciousness that will set us apart yeah. from others. Mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that the current crooked leaders in Nigeria are banking upon is the ignorance of the public. Indeed. You know, Indeed. And they know a lot of people are ignorant about their rights. Mm -hmm. they, you know, a lot of people don't even understand what the Nigerian constitution says about anything. No. You know, some of the so called educated elites. So, AEC will do everything we can. We'll partner with you to get this education out there in front of people, okay. in places of our people, so that they understand. Mm -hmm. So that they will even understand strongly why we need to change the constitution. That's it. That's exactly. That's yeah. exactly. There are many flaws. I've been reading, and there are so many flaws no, in it. The, the constitutional is so flawed. Yeah. Even portions of the constitutional were lifted word for word what? from American constitution. Exactly. Plagiarized. Exactly. So that yeah. cannot be the right constitution for no. No. the nation that is aspiring towards uh, greatness. greatness. The Indeed. type of greatness that we want to bring to bear in Nigeria. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Um, so it's almost saying custom duties review to reflect the ECOWAS regime. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Um, um, you know, there are a lot of things that we figured out this time around. And as you guys know, uh, we don't need to brag to you anymore here. Mm -hmm. AAC did so well in terms of marshalling and defending our position. Yeah. Nobody could wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Uh, when we went on TV, we have inserated people with poor ideas. Mm -hmm. you know, we brought superior arguments. We started mm -hmm. with our minister in the background. Mm -hmm. When we met other candidates, they would say to us, you guys are different. You know, uh, when we went to into debates, it ended up, with, it's just like he was talking about data. Yes. You know, we found out in Nigeria that there's not data. It just mm -hmm. need data processing analysis you know, and data synchronization, and most importantly, data security. Yeah. There are 10 places. Nigeria collects the most amount of data. data. Digital data wow. is almost a criminal collection of data. Mm. You know, the phone companies are collecting your data without yeah. regard to your privacy. No, no human rights to express. Banks are collecting, yeah. INEC is collecting, no. immigration is collecting, Nigerian Population Commission is collecting. The uh, driver's license people are collecting, mm -hmm. passport, that's immigration, you know. Yeah. Everywhere they can find you, they collect you, you know, and it's digital data. Yeah. But you can't find, you know, there's national identity data. Yes, uh, there is, yes. Uh, uh, data collected. Mm -hmm. yes. Everywhere you turn, they're collecting data. But nobody is using the data mm -hmm. uh, for the purpose for which they were collected. Because nobody has sat and put all this data together, yeah. synchronize them, and, you know, flush out the duplicates. Yeah. And with the data we have, it's a great starting point. It is, it is. Because, it is. because yeah. most people who don't have uh, any paper or I mean, any data, they have bank, uh, they have bank DBNs, as yes. they call them. Yeah. So there's, every, there's a lot of data mm -hmm. uh, sets available. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to create one single data point that yeah. is credible. Mm -hmm and that is sanitized. Okay. And we can use that to start to have the problems we have. And we, if that's, again, it's the reason we couldn't wait to become president. If, if, if Nigerians had voted for us by now, you know, we would have woken up to a different style. Wow. That's how great it was going to be. Yeah.
Absolutely. The next, the next day after Buhari was announced, oh. you need to be in Nigeria. Oh. Everybody was in. Well, you thought that you lost somebody. You know? oh. It was like a national. Yeah. It was a national morning. Disaster. Oh, a national was, disaster. Yeah. As, 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 as sad, you know, even the jubilation they were doing, it was all staged. So yeah. to make people just think that, you know. Oh. And most of them ended up in fiasco. Mm -hmm. You know, people died yeah. because. Nobody yeah. wanted to tolerate yeah. you jubilating over yeah. a rigged election yeah. or when they know that the country will be led back to you know the more terrible condition than it was. And Buhari didn't waste time in telling people that uh, the next four years will be pretty yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Quick one. Before we got election on the 9th of March, yeah. um, vote in the, for the governorships. We have a number of governors. We mentioned yeah. Enola, we mentioned yeah. Chidi. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be talking. I'm going to be I'm interviewing in Chidi and Yamu tomorrow, more. actually. I'm, I'm, I'm interviewing tomorrow evening yes. I'm that, you know, on Facebook. And we have, um, uh, yeah, we have uh, River State. Yes, River State. Yes. We have Delta. Yes. We have Adamawa. Yes. Um, we have. Uh, Quite a number of uh, governors, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of uh, state House of Assembly contestants. I think yeah. we have almost 90 something contestants. Fantastic. Still uh, Fantastic. voting out. And it's just an opportunity to ask you guys to support them. I said, yeah, I said. Because then we have Governor in Lagos. So yes, yes. We have Allah 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 Shun, yeah. Allah Allah. Yes, we have Allah Shun, Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we we have uh, you know we have a lot of governorship candidates, mm -hmm. and that's what we would do going forward. Yes, yeah. to ensure that we, as I said, Nigeria, we shook our head in every election. Mm -hmm. You know, present the credible candidates. Mm -hmm. You know. And my operating world is spreading. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much so. True candidates. No, 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 no. Not sure. No, 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 no. So a lot of, you know, a lot of house cleaning will also happen. Exactly. Have, uh, exactly. Uh, Indeed. Indeed. So please, guys, vote for us. Yeah. Vote for our candidates in this uh, upcoming election. Absolutely. So that uh, you can, we can witness a different country. Indeed. Yeah. One more thing. Can you say a word about the late, the young man that died in um, Delta? Um, oh, I, I just I'm trying I, to get I his just, name now. I just heard about it. Yes, today, um, his name is Jude. Yes. Jude Idenobeme Justus Ikunekai. Yes. Um, I just he was, heard about he was it a friend too. of his Calistus, one of our, one of the AEC members yeah. in London. Yeah. It's his brother, and wow. so I would like you to just no, say a few words. Uh, you know, I want to send our you know heartfelt condolences to our people in Delta, and particularly to Jude's family. I heard about this this morning. I've not even heard about the circumstances of his death, uh, but it doesn't matter now. No. Uh, it's just to say, look, you know, uh, sorry about what happened, and uh, you know, we hope that uh, his spirit uh, will continue to protect those who are alive, you know, and protect our country and guide us into a democratic, truly democratic era. Yeah. Thank you for contributing your efforts and your energy. And in fact, he was he was running as a, he was a, he's a running member for Senate. He was going for Senate in Delta, Delta North Territorial District. Yeah. Yes, you know, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. So um, may may so rest in peace, and, yeah. and uh, we are thought are with the family, and I'm sure all of, all our comrades would feel exactly the yeah, same way. Exactly. Thank so, you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, we would have loved to continue, but we exactly. have to go to. The I need to. So I was just going to say, listen, guys, tonight. he's got to rush off now. Listen, thank you all very much. Um, you have the opportunity. Those of us who are in London, please make your way down to. Um, Finchley, yeah. it's Enish restaurant. Yes. If you just type in Enish restaurant, they'll come we'll to you. Come up. You can then go and. Uh, I will be there. You know, to, we'll so we'll be there. So we've got to go now in the meantime. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. And, and, you this, and we'll do this some other Welcome time. Welcome back. You. You know. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Yeah, okay, thank, thank you. you. Take thank care you. now. Bye, guys. Listen, um, it's been yeah. fun. It's been a blast. Please do share this. Okay. He's going to make his way down for the for the for the for the event, and I'll be there as well. Um, I'll be having a, a live interview with um, with the House of Assembly, um, House of Assembly member, um, <laughs> Dr. Lawa, five, about, around about five years. So we'll talk later on. Gotta go. Bye now. Bye. So.